Hello everyone and welcome to the live Dragon Force tutorial. <clears throat> Sorry if I ran a little late here. Uh, had a bit of a few uh, had a bit of a few issues setting things up here. So let's get started. Let me get out of the options menu here. I don't know if we want a little more volume on the TV or not. Let me uh, get the remote real quick. Alright, that'll work. Okay, so obviously we're going to go to New Game. And of course in the beginning of the game you want to select a country you want to start with. There are eight main characters in the game in total. The Highland Kingdom, Pale Moon, Tristan, Topez, Tradnor, Bozak, Izumo, and the Fandaria Empire. And each of these nations are based on, you know, their, 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 uh, there are eight, there are a main, there's a main character attached to each one of these. Like, for example, uh, the Highland Kingdom. This is Wayne. This is the character you would play as if you select him. Now, when you're first starting the game, when you, you want to ask, you ask yourself, what country should I start with? Well, a good, a good answer to that is you want to start with a kingdom that's in a corner of the map, like Tristan, Pale Moon, Highland, Bozak, or even Azumo, or Fandaria. The reason you would want to start with one of these kingdoms on the on an edge of the map is because you're relatively secure. If you start with a kingdom like with Topaz or Tradnor, as you can see here, you're kind of you're kind of a sitting duck on the map, so other kingdoms can invade you from any direction. So Leon would be a tough one to start with. So I don't recommend him your first time playing through. And if it's your first time playing through the game, you'll notice that the Tradnor Kingdom, Reinhardt, and the Fandaria Empire, Goldark, they're not selectable the first time you play the game. You have to beat the game once to unlock them. And I'm due for a new game anyway, so I'm going to start with the Highland Kingdom, and Wayne is going to be our main character. Select? Yes. This is the character we want to play as. Okay, now we're going to get the story. The information concerning Fandaria, have you already heard it? Yes, I have heard, but then I can't believe it. I thought Goldark had actually been placed in confinement. Yet he escaped, killed his brother, and seized the throne. He's a mad lion, just as his nickname suggests. Yep, as you can see, that they're, they're, discuss, they're, at, they're in council discussing that Goldark of the Fandaria Kingdom has allegedly murdered his brother and is, is on a rampage to conquer the entire continent of Legendra. That Goldark might begin the war. Of course, the real war of the game is to unite all eight kingdoms and destroy the God of Destruction, Madruk. So we're going to have a little more story here, which is not really confusing at all, just people talking among each other. Oh, and by the way, uh, feel free to, uh, in retrospect, rewind or fast forward this video as you need to. If something is already obvious to you and, you know, I'm just being redundant, go ahead and fast forward. Because the idea is, to just, is just to get you started so you can just start playing the game. For some reason, my uh, my video is tripping out a little bit there. Might be the lighting effect here. <clears throat> oh, hey Chris, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Glad you're uh, glad you're tuning in here, so I can uh, hopefully help you out with this game if you haven't played it already. All right, let me skip this because the video's getting a little. 
little trippy here. I don't know why it's going out like that. I think it must be it must be the lighting effect on the video on the uh, on the image itself from the game. <clears throat> yeah, that was the problem. Okay. All right. Now we just learned that Wayne is one of the eight members of the Dragon Force, and that the goddess Ostia is tasking him with uniting the other seven kingdoms, and that all eight main characters come together and must destroy the god of destruction, Madruk. That's what's being explained here. So why don't I skip through this? You'll be able to watch this uh, on your own time if, when you start the game yourself. And they they're they back in council. What? You saw the goddess of Yeah, Yeah, I sure did, and I'm one of the chosen. Well, shit, we better get together and uh, get everyone together and uh, kill, that, kill that god of destruction. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get started. All right, come on, let me skip this crap. Let's get to the game here. Blah, 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 blah. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so this is your main domestic menu. When you're not on the map, this is where all your basic function stuff comes from. Let's start by looking at the map here. Now, as you can see, there's Highland, Fendaria, Pale Moon, Izumo, Tradnor, Topaz, Bozak, and Tristan, the main eight kingdoms. And if you look on the map here, that it's color-coded. If I press B here, oh, sorry, let's go back into that again. View all, there we go. Now, if you look at the map here, it's color-coded. Where Whatever is color-coded, those are castles that are occupied by other kingdoms. The white in the southeast corner, or you can see my finger pointing, that is our nation. We want to get this whole map, all of this map to be white, because we're going to unite the whole continent under the ruler of Wayne, our main character. And if you like, you can click on other castles and see what's going on there. What level the castle is, how many generals are in there, how many soldiers are in there, if there are any captives or hostages in there. And let's, let's click on ours, Highland, just to be, uh, just for simplicity. Our monarch and leader is Wayne, that's our main character. The castle is level 20. We have three generals in this castle and 240 soldiers on reserve out of a possible 250. And we don't have any hostages or captives yet because we haven't gone on the map yet and fought other generals. So this is the main map that just shows you, you know, the current status of, of each kingdom. So let's get out of this. Archives. This is, of course, where you save your game. This is pretty obvious. You can update an old save or you can start a new one. We're obviously going to start a new one. And you can save to the memory, uh, in the internal memory of the Saturn, or you can use a backup cartridge. You can save directly to it. Okay, there's our new save there. Now, if you're using an action replay, you may already know that you can't directly save to that, but you can use it as a backup. And this game, of course, is no exception. You can't save directly to the action replay, but you can back up to it. And if, or if you have a, an official backup cartridge, you can save right to it. Okay, let's go into domestic. This is where the game gets a little more uh, convoluted. These are all your basic functions. We'll start with a simple task, generals. By clicking on this, you can look at every single general you have under your command. And let's click on Wayne. Now these are his statistics. Uh, his stats on the left, uh, his picture on the, on the top left, of course, his level, his HP, MP, and you'll see skills there. That's one of his, uh, uh, one of his spells that he can use, Sonic Boom. Affects all foes, costs two to use, and uses up a power meter of ten. We'll get into that later. And over here on the right are the kinds of troops he can command. He can command up to 30 soldiers or 10 cavalry units. We'll get more into that later. So yeah, this is basic a uh, stat a uh, basic status screen. You never need to come here and read anything, but it's just information to have should you like to look at it. Okay. Let's go into awards. Now, awards are given out to each general when they fought in a battle and have successfully won. Now, I obviously don't have any awards right now because we haven't fought any battles. So we'll come back to that later. Items. Items are very simple and straightforward. You, if you have consumable items, you can, choose a, you can choose one of your generals and use that consumable item on them. We obviously don't have any items right now, so there's nothing that we can consume or any item that we can equip on them. So let's get out of this menu for now. Audience. You can have an audience with your generals or, or anyone you have captive. When you talk to your generals, you can hear what they have to say. For the pride of the Highland Knight Corps, I'll help you. 
The only thing you want to look out for when you're talking to them is if you hear a dun 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 sound. That means that they're not particularly happy with you. And, and why they might be unhappy with you is if you're not giving them awards or treating them nicely. That's pretty simple. We'll get into that later. Let's see what Nina says. I may not be too strong, but I'll lend what support I can. You don't require drug testing, do you? Definitely a joke from Victor Island there. Let's see what Roger says. We're keeping our weapons sharp and our eyes peeled. That didn't come out so right, did it? <laughs> All right, so let's get out of this. Search. Now this is a fun now this is a neat function here. This is where you can find items. You can select a kingdom or a castle that's under your control, and you can pick one of your officers or one of your generals to search the castle for you for an item. The kind of officers that can search for items in castles must have an intelligence level of 70 or higher. That's handy to remember when you're moving around across the map. That way you can discern who can search for stuff and who can't. So let's see if Nina finds anything. Aha! She found a weapon. Mars Blade. Now this is where I can show you items. Let me back up a minute. Let me back up here. Okay, we're going to go to items. And let's go to Wayne. Now we can equip the Mars Blade on him. Which will increase his strength by three points. So let's go ahead and put that on him. We're going to select it and choose Equip. Thank you. That would be really quite helpful. So now he's using the Mars Blade Sword. You can also find armor, shields, and things like that. But keep in mind that you can only have one item equipped on any general at a time. So if I want to give him something else, I have to swap out the Mars Blade with, the other item, with another item that I may want to equip him with. <clears throat> So that's how you find items, by searching the castles. Fortify. This is the feature that will allow you to build up your castles to make them higher levels. Highland is level 20. The higher the level a castle is, the more soldiers on reserve can be in there. The maximum level for any castle is 50. Now, we can't select either of our castles right now because we don't have any generals that have an intelligence level of 70 or above. Remember when we had Nina search for an item? Whether you choose to search for an item or to fortify a castle, that same general can only do one or the other, and that's only once per domestic affair. If you have more generals that can do that feature, then you can repeat it. Also, if you want, you can reload the game and try this feature again. You can try searching again or try fortifying again by reloading the game if you're trying to get a certain item. So we're pretty much done here. We don't have to do anything else. We've talked, to our, we've talked to our generals. We've looked at the stats. We've used items. We don't have any awards to give out because we haven't fought in battle yet. We searched the castle and found an item. And we don't have any generals to help build up the castles. So we're just going to go to end here. And I'm going to save the game. <clears throat> okay, let's go to update here. Cartridge RAM. Now, obviously, be careful if you don't if you don't want to override uh, overwrite a previous save. That wouldn't be good. There we go. I apologize if the if the uh, video is a little grainy or uh, yeah, you know, I don't have a capture card. I'd like to do this on a more professional level, but this is what I have to work with for the moment. Hopefully, it's coming out all right. So let's go to done. This concludes the meeting of the military council. Are you sure you want to do this? Like, are you sure you're ready to go to the map? If you are, you say end. There we go. Also, A and C to confirm, and B to cancel an action. Okay, here we are on the map, and this is where the heart of the action happens. Obviously, our castles have white flags right here, and yeah, those are our two castles right there. A castle with no flag means it's unoccupied, and it's up for grabs. You can click on a castle to see what's in there. It's a level 13 castle, and it has no generals in there. Here's an individual in a town here. Hilga's army. Generals, let's see, there's Hilga, and there's Rock. She can command 20 soldiers, he can command 10. And goal determines, will show you where they're heading on the map. Okay, right now they're not going anywhere because they've already reached their goal of being in town. So we'll just go to end here. Also, you'll notice that I have the game paused. You pause the game by pressing start, which is normal for almost any game. 
but when you have the game paused, no action is taking place. So if you need to make quick decisions, and there's a lot of stuff happening all at once, pausing the game will allow you to get will allow you to get a breath of fresh air, sort everything out in your head, and do what you have to do without feeling like you have to beat the clock. Also, you see that hourglass in the upper right hand corner? That's our time limit. When that hourglass runs out, that means one week has passed by, and we go back into the domestic affairs screen where we can perform those other functions again. So let's let's glide around the map here. Let's take a look around before we do any uh, do any battles here. These little spots are towns, and these are little uh, pit stops where you can put a general here if you don't want to head to a castle right away. And this castle right here. Let's see who's in there. Okay, it's there's one general. Uh, level 13 castle. His name is Hickus, and he commands 10 cavalry units. There are his stats. You can also look at the stats of other opposing enemies, so you can see what they're commanding, what spells they have. Really handy if you want, when you uh, want to approach someone and you want to fight them. You can ask yourself, am I ready to fight them? Am I not ready to fight them? You know. Okay, let's look around some more. Some towns, towns. Another castle. Okay, in this castle, level 18, the Lighten Castle, five generals. Let's see, Zanin, Yuri, Veltrana, Rudar, and Gunter. And you can see what each of them command. Level 1, level 2, level 3. Let's look at, let's look at Zanin here. Okay, so he's pretty strong right now. So it probably wouldn't be smart to go after him right away, but we can go after him later. But he's not with any nation, because as you can see, this castle has a gray or a black flag. That means those generals don't belong to any particular nation. They're pretty much a uh, freebie, up for grabs, like this guy is right here. Hickus. Okay, let's look around the map a little more. Let's go look at the Bozak nation. Green flags, which belong to Bozak. Oh, and there's our other uh, Dragon Force member, Gongos, one of the other main characters. Okay, level 12, level 12 castle, seven generals, no captives, and this is everyone that's in here. Well, there's quite a few people in here, so invading this castle would be would be a daunting task at best, and would likely uh, would likely result in a loss if we try to go after them now. Plus, they're too far away right now, and you don't want to run across the map too quickly. You want to take your time moving across the map, making sure you secure each castle. Okay, in this one, level 13 Sardia Castle, five generals, and Gunner is the leader of that castle. You have other characters in here, what they what their level, what they command. Let's look over here. Here is the Fandaria Kingdom. And in this castle, ah, there's one of the other Dragon Force members, Goldark. Level 27 castle, five generals. <clears throat> and let's see who else is in there. Gaul, Karaz, however you say that, I'm not sure. Scythe and Lyria. And what each of them command, what level they are, their HP and MP. And of course, if you want to see more of their stats, you just click on them and you can see, uh, you can see everything. It's nice that you can actually uh, look at the stats of any generals you fight before you go onto the map with them. Okay, we're probably done uh, looking around the map for now. So let's let's start. Let's get moving around so you can figure out how to play the game here. So let me click on one of my castles. Okay, generals. Wayne, Roger, Nina. All right. Okay, Wayne has thirty soldiers. Roger, Roger has twenty. And I want to see if I can recruit these guys here. What do they have? Twenty soldiers for her and ten soldiers for him. Okay. So I probably have a good chance by taking. Wayne and Roger with me. And what level are they over here? Let me check again. Level 2, level 1. Okay, so my odds are good. Okay, so now I want to send out Wayne and Roger from this castle. So how do I do that? Select Deploy. So who's going to go first? Wayne will. Say yes. Okay, I want him to go. And is anybody, gonna, is, and is anybody else going to go with you? Yeah, I want Roger to go with me. Anyone else? Nope. Just those two, so I'll select Deploy. Send Wayne's division to the front, send them out. Okay, say yes. 
And Nina shall be the new leader of the castle because she's the only general in the castle right now. Now select where you want them to go. And I want them to go here because I want to try to recruit these guys. Select on them. Oh, sorry, I have to click on the town that they're standing on right here. There we go. Unpause, so action happens. And now it's happening in real time. Wayne's moving across the map here. It's a little bit slow, it's a little bit tedious at times. It's meant to be more realistic as in how long it takes to travel somewhere. And they're about to encounter... Okay, Wayne's army encounter the enemy. Here we go. I might be able to recruit them right here. I may not have to fight them. Ha! So now the Pig Lord Borgen sends you. What a coward. He cannot come to battle us himself. Rather than fight, he sits on his couch and grows fatter. But his day of reckoning will come. We shall be oppressed by his corrupt rule no more. And since you are his men, you too will die. Okay, here's a battle. And of course, they uh, trash talk each other before, uh, before they fight. Okay, two soldiers against two soldiers. Now I have a couple options. I can either attack, or I can retreat. Obviously, I want to attack because I want to recruit them. Okay, attack. This looks like it might be a bundle of laughs. Here, let me try it. Basically, Roger just participated to jump in the battle and fight right away. He said, wait, let me go. I think I can handle these guys. And, I'm, and now I'm being asked, do you, want, do you want to let him go? Do you want to let him fight? I'll say yes. I said, all right, please take care of the Vanguard. Go for it. I love the smell of sweat in the morning. All right, and he's going to fight against Rock, level one, with ten soldiers. So this should be a, a pretty easy fight going out. Some more trash talk. And because we're fighting in a town, that's the background we get. I should notice, I noticed, uh, when I was distracted there, the other general chose the offense setup. There are four different setups you can have for how you want to position your soldiers before you begin battle. Special is to have everyone in front of you. Offense, have most of them in front of you with some of them behind you. Defense is the opposite of that, some in front of you, most behind you. And this is a unique, uh, this is a unique formation for Rudger, Breach. If you choose this, your speed on your soldiers goes up, and the formation is different across the map. We're going to go with offense. <clears throat> okay. Offense mode. Now, how do you want them to move? Do I want them to move forward, run back, run backwards, retreat, regather back together, spread out, stand still, don't move, or fuck it, just run in and kill everything? You don't usually want to select melee uh, when you first start a battle. Because once you call melee, they go after the soldiers and the general, and they don't take your commands anymore. So reserve that for when, you sh when you're sure that you're winning the battle, that you're going to win this. So right now I'm going to pick advance. Offense formation. Everyone in front, go forward. You all stay behind me. I'm going to move the camera here. They're coming forward. Here's a little trick here. I'm going to pick standby real soon. As soon as they come near, here they come. Gonna press standby. Nice. When you have soldiers stand still and the other soldiers are running towards you, you have a better chance of knocking them all off when you have your soldiers stand still. So now I'm gonna have them advance. All right, here they go. Running up against the enemy soldiers. Attacking the general. And also, you'll notice... You'll notice on the upper left screen that Rock, our enemy general, has no soldiers left. He's all by himself. So you know what? I'm gonna call melee. Charge! Everybody get out there! So now they're attacking him. And I've got more soldiers along the way here. And look at Rock's HP. It's going down real fast. 
I'm going to use Sonic Boom here. I'm going to use a spell because my power meter's full, and that should take care of him. I'll explain that in a moment how that works. That did it. Got him. With six soldiers left to spare. All right. Awesome. The enemy General Rock has been captured. We got him. So now he'll be a captive, and we can try to pursue him or persuade him to join us. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, I can look at info. I can look at info on any of my on any of my generals here. It's the status screen again, like what you saw in Domestic Affairs. Okay, we'll get out of that. We'll go to Deploy. All right, who do you want to send out there to fight against Hilga? Wayne or Roger? I'm going to send out Wayne because Roger only has six soldiers against Hilga's 20. So Wayne's going to go out there. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice here, talking a lot. Some trash talk, some trash talk. All right, there we go. So let's see what formation Hilga has. Reach formation. That was the formation I explained earlier, where you have your soldiers up front and they move faster. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose offense, and I'm going to have them advance. Everyone in front move, everyone behind me stay put. Follow with the camera. Right as they show up on the screen on the left, everyone stand still, don't move. Knock them all off. Oh, she used a spell against me. Ah, rotten luck. If you notice on the lower right corner where my power meter is, that attack dropped my power meter down. So I have to wait for that to fill back up before I can, uh, before I can cast a spell if I want to. Thanks for joining, David. I'm, uh, I hope you're enjoying it here. Okay. So now I'm going to have them advance, because all of her soldiers are now guarding her, just staying close by. Follow them with the camera here. All my soldiers are coming up. So here comes the attack. Her last soldier was just killed, so I'm going to call melee. Charge! Get out there! And my power meter's full. So I'm going to cast Sonic Boom here, knock down some more of her HP. That attack also will uh, take out soldiers if they're on the map. Opposing soldiers, not your own. Oh, she's falling back. She's retreating. Let's see if I capture her. Sometimes you capture them when they, when they run away. Oh, no, we didn't capture them. I caught Rock, but I didn't catch Hilga. If I'm quick enough, I can catch Hilga if I move on the map again right away. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. I'm going to have to catch her another time then. She's coming back this way, though. Look at that. She came right back because she lost the battle against that other general that she encountered with. Did you see that on the map? Rewind that in retrospect if you missed that. You again? This routine is growing tiresome. Okay, so we're in good shape here. She only has 19 hit points, and she has no soldiers. So I can pretty much send out whoever I want to send out, whether Wayne or Roger. The odds are the odds are <laughs> are all in my favor. I'm going to send Wayne out because I want him to gain levels, because he's one of the main eight members of the Dragon Force, and it's good to have your eight Dragon Force members level up. <clears throat> Oh, a friend of mine just showed up. I'm going to pause the game real quick. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Hold on. Oh, knocked the camera there. Damn it. <laughs> Here we go. Moved and everything. Okay, yeah. Let me get the PC on here. 
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, now it doesn't really matter what uh, what formation you choose here because she has no soldiers. So you know what? To hell with it. Special, everyone in front of me, melee. Get out there. Get out there and get it done. Doesn't matter what I command because she's on her own now. And she doesn't have enough MP to cast any more spells, so I'm in good shape here. And just to top it off, since my power meter filled up, I'll just use Sonic Boom to knock down more of her hit points. Oh wow, that did it. Didn't even have to use a soldier. <clears throat> nice, we captured them both. Yay, we won! Okay, so we got that done. So I'm gonna click on the general and direct them to go here, to go back to the castle they came from. Watch them creep by really slowly. Let me back up the camera a little bit here. Make sure I got the whole TV in there. Yeah, good. Yeah, it takes a while, you know, just trud trudging along here, pixel by pixel. Come on, come on, here we go, here we go. All right, they're back in the castle now. So when you go back into a castle that you own, Obviously, we ran out of troops during that fight. So how do we resupply them? We go to recruit. Select a general who you want to resupply troops to. We'll select Wayne and select recruit. Fill the soldiers right back up. And you'll see the reserve count. That's how many soldiers you'll have in reserve. That number fills back up as time goes by. And let's uh, fill back up uh, Roger's class. There we go. Full supply. Also, you'll notice that there's a there's a option called class. If you choose this, this is where you have the option to switch out different soldiers you want to use, should you choose to do so. Right now, I'm not going to pick that for Wayne because he only has 10 cavalry units against his 30 soldiers. So I'm going to refrain from that for now. I can also choose release to release them back into the reserves if I want to, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Now, here's this castle here. One general, I can capture this guy because he doesn't belong to any nation at the moment. So let me see if I can send someone out after him. Let's see what's, what I have in here. Generals. I could probably send Gollum after him by himself. Let me have a look here. Okay, let's deploy. Wait, before I do that, let me check his stats again. Make sure that the odds are, are, are in my favor here. Level one, 10 cavalry. Yeah, you know what? I've got good odds against going after him. So let me go back to this castle. Whoops. Choose deploy. Who's going to go out there? Gollum will. Yep, that's where I want to go. You want anyone else to go with you? Nope, just him. Yep, just him. Okay, where do you want him to go? I want him to go to this castle and try to capture that general. There, click on that and just watch him slowly walk along. Very, very slowly. He might not even get there before the timer runs out. <clears throat> or maybe he will. We'll see how this goes. Meanwhile, looking around. Yeah, nobody's coming after me at the moment, so I'm pretty safe here. That timer might... Oh, yeah. Timer ran out. Domestic affairs beckon. See, the hourglass is empty. So we're going to go back to that screen. Oh, there's a cutscene here.
right, it looks like we have uh, Hilga and uh, Rock joining us here. Roger will be awarded an award because he fought in a battle and won. And that's it. Wayne also fought in a battle too and he won, but you don't get announced yourself because that's your main character. So we're going to go to awards. <clears throat> All right, who's going to get the awards? Well, Wayne and, and Roger will because they fought in battles. If you can't remember who, who got awarded, look for where it says merits. If it says yes, then that means that person gets an award. And if it says no, that means per, that means that person doesn't. And Roger also says yes because he fought. So let's give him an award. Present the decorations. Do you want to give him an award to be able to command more monks or more soldiers? I'm going to go with more soldiers. Present the award. Now, Roger can command 30 soldiers instead of 20. Because I gave him an award for fighting in a battle and winning. So we're done awarding him. We're going to go up to Wayne now. Because he fought and won. Do I want to give him thir a, another soldier award or a cavalry reward? I'm going to give him a cavalry award. Because cavalry are stronger than soldiers. Now Wayne can command 20 cavalry instead of 10. You can have a maximum up of 10 awards per unit that you can command. <clears throat> and we don't have any more awards to give out, so we're done with this screen. Let's go to end. I'm going to save the game real quick. Save it on the cartridge RAM. There we go. Now let's go to domestic. We don't have any other items because we haven't searched for anything yet. Uh, let's see if we need an audience. No, we don't have we don't have any captives because Hilga and Rock have already joined us. Great, we have more we have more generals on our side. So let's go to end here. Well, let's see. Do we want to search for an item, or perhaps try to build the castle up? Let's try to build the castle up. I haven't shown you that yet. We're going to go to fortify. What castle do I want to build up? I want to build up Highland. And, of course, Nina's the only one that can do it. Hopefully she's successful. Let's see what happens here. Awesome, she was successful. The castle's gone up by one level. And when a castle levels up, that means it can hold more troops in reserve. At level 50, the highest level, it, a castle can hold a maximum of 550 soldiers in reserve. Okay, we fortified the castle. We don't have to do anything else, so let me save the game one more time. Update, cartridge RAM, save to Wayne. History book revised. There we go. You know what time it is, by the way? 3.51. 3.51, okay. Okay, let's go to done. I'm going to show you the map one more time. And I may have to conclude this video a little sooner than I want to, because I actually have to go... Uh, I have an errand that I have to run. As you can see, that soldier is still moving. Our general is going to invade that castle. There it is. Now we're storming a castle. This is the first time I've shown you this in the game. <clears throat> oh, it wants me to pay a toll. Well, we didn't have Easy Pass in 96, so that's not, a, that's not an option there. Okay, he's not going to let us talk to him. Well, I could talk to him and try to persuade him to join, but if he refuses, I lose my troops and I've lost this battle. So I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to go in and fight him. The odds are good for me anyway. Obviously, there's nobody but Gallum to uh, throw him against, so we're just going to go right into it. <clears throat> now I'm going to pay attention to what formation the enemy general is going to use. Let's see here. Ah, he's in offense mode. Most in the front, some in the back. And he's likely going to have them run towards me. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing. Offense mode, most of you in front, some of you in back. And those in front, move out. Follow with the camera. You notice that... Let me pause the game real quick. You can't see it when I have the game paused, but as I'm playing... You'll notice a little map in the lower left corner 
with blue with your troops in blue and enemy troops in red that little map in the corner is a good way for you to see what's going on okay right before the encounter stand by pop them all off there we go that was successful okay advance meanwhile my power meters filled up so I'm gonna cast sonic boom you might have noticed this, that there was one cavalry unit coming after me. And he is out of soldiers. Melee! Get in there! Move the camera over to him. Power meter fill again. Okay, that's the last sonic boom I can cast. Yeah, this, this victory's in the bag. There it is. <clears throat> so now he'll be captured, most likely. All right, we captured him. And we took the enemy castle. So now I have my general in there. And occasionally the level of a castle will get decreased when it gets when it gets attacked. Which means I'll have to build it up another level again. So now I'm in there. I'll stay put for now in this castle. Meanwhile, oh who's this? What's going on here? Let's see here. Who's that? That's the General Gunter, who has no troops. And here's one of uh, Gongos' units. Four generals there, and they're running away from him, actually. That's a little strange, because that would be a victory in the bag for this unit. But fortunately, they're not coming after us, so I don't have to worry about it. Let's see what's going on here. Who's this? Let's see who's in the castle. There are four generals in the castle. Borgen, Randolph, Khalil, and Diablo. They all command cavalry. Ooh. And what's the army? Three generals outside the castle. Yeah, there are three generals outside the castle and four inside the castle. When you deploy someone, you can't have more than five in a group. So that would not be smart for me to attack right now. So let me plan a different move here. I might be able to get this guy, though. Let's see if I can get him. Can I recruit him? Yeah, I can. Okay, I filled up. I filled the cavalry. Are you certain you want to abandon this? You want to abandon this castle? I am. Yes, because I want to go after that. I want to go after Gunter, who's on the field there. Keep in mind when you abandon a castle. All of the reserve troops inside that castle get emptied out. So keep that in mind if you choose to leave a castle. And all the captives were taken since the castle will be empty. Select a destination. I'm going to select this town. And I'm going to watch in real time what's going to happen here. Yep, they're going to, they're going to collide again. comes. Got him. No soldiers and 100 hit points from him. Meanwhile, I'm at full hit points with 20 cavalry units, so I'm doing fine. Here's something else I didn't mention before. You see the terrain effect there? And over here, the terrain effect Depending on what units you're using and where you are on the background, you can have a plus effect or a minus effect on your unit's movement. I'm getting slowed down by 25%. He's getting slowed down by 13%. So his terrain movement is better than mine right now. But he doesn't have any soldiers or any units right now, so 
I don't have to worry about that as much. <clears throat> I could try to talk to him, see if he wants to join us, but I never like to risk that, because if it doesn't work out, I, use, I lose my units, if I remember correctly. So I'm just going to attack. There we go. So we're in a swamp area of some kind. You know what? I've actually never seen this background before. I've never fought in this area. And he has no units, so I'm just going to click special and advance. Everyone in front, get out there and fight. And you'll also notice that I didn't call melee. Because I didn't call melee, that means I still have control over my soldiers, or over my units if I want to command them still. Power meter's full. So I'll use Sonic Boom, knock the HP down a bit. That killed some of my soldiers and knocked my HP down a bit. Yeah, yeah, this, this victory's in the bag here. Power meter full again. Cast another Sonic Boom. That's the last one I can cast, because I don't have enough MP. There we go. Hopefully I can take him out before he decides to run away. Got him. So now he'll be captured. Yep, got him. All right, perfect. And that other enemy unit... Oh, they just stopped there. They're not moving. So instead of having him go here, I'm going to have him head back to the castle here. Oh, and look! McCall's nation is invading Gongos's nation. That's quite a mess going on there. Now where is he? Now where is this guy going? Oh, he's going after me! Let's see what they have in there. Oh! They don't have any troops. Okay, I gotta act fast on this. All right, he's gonna try to come after me. Maybe I won't have enough time to get my units over there to fight. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, yeah, he just went back in the castle. So I'm gonna have him I'm going to have him head back out again. I'm going to have him head into that castle. And I'm going to gather up from this castle. Let's see here. Let me recruit troops to make sure that I'm fully supplied. Put recruits back in. Put recruits back in. Okay, everybody's filled up again. And I'm going to have Wayne. Roger. And Hilga head out. Yeah, that'll work. I'll have these three head out, deploy. Okay. And I'll make Nina the, the leader of the castle. And have them head towards this castle. Now, here's an interesting scenario here Gollum is going to head into this castle. And Wayne, Roger, and Hilga are all going to head into this castle. Now, when I have the four of them together in this castle, I can send them all out at once towards this castle where this unit will be. And if I'm fast enough, I can attack them and capture them before they can resupply all their troops. So this is where strategy comes into play. Yeah, there was no... Uh-oh. We are the Skull Children, Matter's glorious creation. This world fears us, and we live without fear of defeat. Okay, so I have to be cautious of them, because they may attack someone at any time. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good.
All right, let's see who we have here. That's coming after us. 30 cavalry, 20 soldiers, and 20 soldiers. What do they have for attacks? Sonic boom, sonic boom, sonic boom. All right. All right, rather than wait for them to get here, I'm just gonna leave the castle and get all four of them out there. So the sooner I act on this, the better. And I'm just gonna click on this town, which heads right in their general direction, unpause the game, and let the encounter happen. Okay. <clears throat> Fight Helm at level one. He has 20 soldiers. Uh, let's see here. I'll have Wayne fight, fight against him. Some trash talk, some trash talk. And let's see what formation the enemy general is going to use. Okay, he's using offense. And likely, his soldiers in front are going to go after me. I'm going to use offense also, and have them advance. You, everyone in front, head out. The rest of you behind me, stay behind. Okay. Follow them with the camera. Stand by. Everybody stop moving. There, pop them all off a bit at a time. Okay, good. Head back out now. Cast Sonic Boom, knock down his HP a bit. Meanwhile, my other soldiers are still going after him. There we go. Yeah, we're in good shape here. Okay, he has no soldiers left. Melee, get out there! Ooh, lost a few soldiers in that. Cast another Sonic Boom, and that'll be my last one for this fight. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Oh, he was killed in the melee. That means I can I can't capture him. He was uh, he was killed. Let's see who I'm going to fight against next. Okay, Zuvan, 20 soldiers. I'm going to have... I'm going to have Roger go after him, because he has 30 soldiers against his 20. tough. He's using what's called the Protect Formation. That's a very conservative, defensive um, formation to use. It's really hard to breach the enemy when they use that. So I'm going to do something a little different here. This will be a good learning curve for you guys. I'm going to pick Offense again. So my soldiers in front will move forward, and my soldiers behind me will stay behind and protect me. Okay. So you'll notice that his soldiers are not moving, which is bad for me because that's the technique I was using to pick them off. So watch this. Watch what I'm going to do here. Right before they start getting picked off, I'm going to cast Sonic Boom. Because while a spell is being cast, while the animation is occurring, the soldiers are still moving. And look at that. I penetrated his defense. There, look at that. That worked out very nicely. Cast one more Sonic Boom, knock the HP down a bit, and I still have soldiers protecting me. So I'm in good shape here. There we go. 
And he just had his soldiers come back and, uh, and well, it doesn't matter now, but yeah, he had his soldiers uh, break the formation up to try to protect him, but it didn't work out in his favor. Uh, he was slain in the melee also, so I'm not going to be able to recruit him. Which general shall be sent to the front? Okay, Wayne and Rudger are still good to go if I want to use them, but it wouldn't be smart on my part. Gollum has all 20 cavalry, and Hilga has 20 soldiers. Cavalry are very effective against soldiers, so that would not be good on my part. So what I'm going to try to do is, if, it does, if I don't win with Gollum, I'm going to try to at least wear down Gasper. So I'm going to choose Gollum. Hopefully this will work out okay. Ooh, he's using special formation. That means every single one of his soldiers are going to come after me. <clears throat> so let's see, what do I want to do? Offense, defense. Okay, I'm going to have offense. Have them advance. Everyone in front, move out. Everyone behind me, stay behind. Follow them with the camera. And use that same trick again. Right before I encounter them, hit standby. Much easier to pick them off that way. That worked out nicely. Meanwhile, I'll cast Sonic Boom. Oh, you know what? I should have had my, my troops advance during that. Oh, well. Advance now. Yes, no more soldiers. Perfect. Melee. The rest of you get out there. And my power meter's full again. Cast some of the sonic boom. Knock the HP down. Oh, yeah. This is in the bag. We got it. Awesome. We won that one. And he was also slain in the melee. Oh, yeah. They, they come back again and again and again. <laughs> so now that I've defeated them, uh, they're off the map for now, but they will respawn at a later time, at a later, more unpredictable time. And we, oh, we got some level ups here. Who gained a level? Okay, Wayne did. And Gollum did. Okay. Click on Army. Or click Enter. Get back in the castle. There we go. Okay, 11, 14, 7, 20. Okay, I have some troops, but I can't fully supply them right now because I'm out of reserves in this castle. I'm going to pause the game. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, I'm going to act fast here. They don't have a lot of troops right now. If I'm quick enough, I can get my units up there, wipe them all out, and I have more people that I captured. Okay, Wayne, Roger, Gollum, Hilga... Everyone's going to leave this castle. And we're going to invade this castle. And the timer is about to run out. Yep, that's the end of it. Okay. A while ago, we captured the thieves' leader. Roger won in a battle, so he gets an award. Gollum won in a battle, so he gets an award. And that's it. Wayne, I think, fought in a battle, too, so he gets an award also. Oh, yeah, he does, because it says yes on the merit screen right there. So let's give him an award. 
let's award him another cavalry award. So now he can command 30 cavalry troops. And when I get back to the map, I'm going to have him switch that out. Gollum won in a battle. Give him 30 cavalry. Let's see, did anybody else fight? Yep, Roger did. Now he can command 40 soldiers. And that's it for rewards. So let's go down to end. Archives. We're going to save the game here. There we go. Level 4 now. Alright, we're doing good so far. <clears throat> now let's see here. Let's go into domestic again. Uh, we didn't find any items, so we don't have anything uh, to give to anybody. Let's go into audience. See how we can choose captives now? We have a captive general that we can talk to to try to persuade and see if he'll join us. Let's click on that. Let's talk to them. Promote. Will you join with me in our struggle for peace? Nope, he will not. Why don't you give me a drink? That might loosen me up. Let's talk to Hickus and see if he'll join. Will you join me with me in our struggle for peace? All right, he will. I have nothing to lose but my life. Okay, we've got him on our side now. But Gunter is not quite convinced on joining us yet, so we'll have to leave him. For, we'll have to leave him alone for now. Let's check on our generals. Make sure everybody's still happy. He's happy. You can tell if they're happy or not when you get that audio cue. Nah, he's not happy. But we did just persuade him, so I'm starting to wear down a bit. Hilga's happy. Link is happy. Nina's happy. She hasn't fought yet, so we haven't had any awards to give her. Nope, Rock's not happy. I didn't think you were so stingy. Perhaps my allegiance was misplaced. And Roger's doing fine. Sometimes new recruits tend to be a little bit bitter at times, and you may not have their complete faith in you yet. So don't feel bad if one of them happens to abandon you because just because you didn't have any awards to give them. Because you because they didn't fight. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to go to end. Let's see. Do I want to fortify a castle? How many people can do that right now? Uh, only Nina can do it. You know what? I'm not going to fortify the castle right now. I'm going to try to search for an item. Let's see if she finds anything. Oh, she found a person. But he's not interested in joining. So that was a failure. And if I want to, I can reload the game and try again. But I'm not going to bother with that. As long as you guys understand the game enough so you can start playing, that's the whole goal of this video. I'm going to go into one more... I'm going to go into the map one more time and, sh and uh, show you another variable in the game. And I'm going to conclude it for now. And hopefully this video is enough to get you to, to get you start playing, because that's the point. That's the whole idea here. <clears throat> oh, look at that. The new person that I recruited, he's on the map now moving with us. Yeah, there's Hickus. And here's the other... Generals, Wayne, they're moving towards the castle here. Let's see how that castle's doing. Do they have any troops yet? No, no troops. This looks like it's going to go well for us. Come on, get up there, get up there. There we go. Storming that castle. Now, if I was fast enough, most of those generals are not going to have troops, so this will be an easy, easy win. Okay, two people have troops.
So I'm going to have Hilga go out and fight, because she has 20 soldiers against his 20 soldiers. Also notice that they have a 19% bonus on their terrain. If you're attacked in a castle, you usually get a terrain bonus. But because I'm attacking their castle, they get a terrain bonus, and I don't get anything. So I'm going to have Hilga go after him. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, he's using special formation. He's gonna have all of his troops run after me at once. And you know what? That's fine by me. I'm gonna go with offense, advance again. Everyone in front, go ahead. The rest of you stay behind. Follow them with the camera, follow them with the camera. And at the right timing, have them stop moving and pick them off. You got tough odds against me here. And this is when a duel can happen, where generals will fight it out, one by one against one. <clears throat> I don't have a chance of the lifetime of fighting this guy. So you know what? I'm going to retreat for now, and I'll have to take a loss. Unfortunately, that didn't go as well as I wanted it to. But sometimes that does happen. He's going to fight again with no soldiers. I'm going to take a chance here, I think. I'm going to send in Gollum with seven cavalry against his no soldiers. Himself, so all I have to do is just send my units out. Everyone in front, advance. Get out there. Wait for my power meter to go up. There we go. Cast a sonic boom. Knock down the HP a bit more. Stand by. Don't move for a second. I'm going to cast Sonic Boom one more time. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. There we go. Nice. Okay, advance. Fight again. Knock him down once more. Now it goes down into a duel again. This time I will duel him because it's, it's, the win is in the bag here. You don't have control over duels. All you can do is watch and let it play out. And sometimes the other soldier will get a critical hit like he did against me. But all I needed to do was hit him once and that was it. It was done. All right, we captured him. soldiers, 14 soldiers. Okay, I'm going to send Rudger after him. behind me if I choose offense. So you know what? <clears throat> I'll just have everyone in front like what he's doing. 
Oh no, he's on offense mode, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, here they come. Stand by. Pick them off one by one. Oh, one of his soldiers got through. That's okay. Oh, two of them got through. All right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'll be okay. Right before they get to me, I'll cast Sonic Boom. Hopefully this will hit one of them at least. Oh yeah, I got one of them. There we go. Nice. Okay, here's a duel. Man, this is this is tough. I set myself up for a tough one here. Should have taken an extra soldier. <sighs> but I might not have had enough time for, before they uh, recruited. Okay, fight it out. Oh, he backed off. Who do I have left? Eleven soldiers. Okay, I'm gonna try and go right into a duel with them. Neither Roger or Sylvia has any units, but I think my odds are pretty good here if I just go straight into duel mode. Okay. And of course, it goes right into duel mode because there are no soldiers on the map. Duel. Okay, she's going to fight it out. Nice. Got her. All right. I was worried there for a bit. All right, now I'll just send Wayne after her with, 11, with only 11 soldiers, but... I'll just stick with special. Everyone in front, advance. Get out there. And I don't call melee so I can so I can retain control of them just in case. Knock her HP down. Keep an eye on my soldiers. I'm gonna have them stand by. Just before, well, oh, maybe not. Okay, my power meter's full. Cast another sonic boom. Okay, there we go. Come on, get in there. Melee, come on, get in there. All right, good. Got to go into dual mode. She's likely going to run away, though. No, she's going to fight it out. Got her. Nice. That was a high-risk, high-reward move. I moved in on those generals before they could completely re recruit their troops, even though I was not fully supplied myself, but we won. We got them. We captured Silva, we captured Norse, and we captured Sylphia. If I'm quick enough, I can capture the last remaining guy. Roger leveled up.
think my other general, uh, Hickus, is about to run into him. No, I guess not. Well, he's going to run that way. Where is he going? He's supposed to go to that castle, but why is he heading to the east? Well, either way, when he starts heading back, he's in pretty tough shape right now. He's got no soldiers, and he's heading back this way. Meanwhile, I'm going to change Wayne's class to Cavalry, and then recruit him, fill him up. I'm out of reserves for now, but that's okay. I'll stay put in the castle, and wait until he comes back this way. 63 hit points, no troops. Yeah, he's not in good shape. We've got him caught here now. Just wait for him to get to the castle. There we go. Whoops, bumped the camera there. <laughs> okay, we got this guy now. I'm not gonna bother talking to him, I'll just attack him. And I'll have Wayne go after him. I'm really glad that invasion on the castle worked out. That was, that was a high risk, high reward, like I said. Got more people on my side. You know, moving across the map, getting getting everybody on my side one by one. Okay, special, advance. Go ahead, get out there, don't worry about it. Victory's in the bag. Power meter maxes out, so I'll cast Sonic Boom. In the meantime, my soldiers or my cavalry will keep moving. Oh yeah. That did a number on him. Oh yeah, we got this in the bag. Got him. So now he's captured. Yep, got him. Awesome. Whew! That was a, that was a bit of a doozy there, but we did it. Unfortunately, that castle keeps getting decreased in level. It's only level 10 right now. I'll have to wait for the reserves to fill back up. Reserves in your castle, as you can see, I only have three men on reserve. The castle will fill up with reserves again as you let time go by. Particularly the, uh, the hourglass in the upper right corner there. Okay, I'm going to stay put for now. That was a big accomplishment that we uh, that we achieved there. Right now, I'm just going to take a rest and let my units wait it out. Let everyone build their resources back up again. Meanwhile, we can see what's going on on the rest of the map. McCall is really invading Gongos. There's a lot going on here right now. Oh, who's that there? Ah, just a single general on her own who's likely going to get captured very soon. And if I remember correctly, this guy, Bastion, yeah, he's a... Uh, He's a very good commander. He's a very good general, but he ha but he's he's very unfaithful. He tends to run away and abandon your uh, and abandon your monarch a lot. Let's see what's going on with Reinhardt here. Oh my goodness, he's got some damn good he's got some damn good generals behind him. Trying to invade him would be suicide. All right, that's the end of it. All right, back in the military screen. Oh, and look, people like me more. The polls report an increase in popular support. Awesome. Give him more cavalry. Terrific. Now let's give out the awards. 
Roger won a battle. Gollum won a battle. And that's it. So let's go back into awards here and give out the awards as necessary. Oh, that's right. Wayne fought a battle too, so he gets another award. Keep bumping up the cavalry. Now he can command 50 of them. Awesome. Let's see here. Oh, yep, there. Gollum got one, so give him more cavalry. Give him another award. There we go. Now we can. Com now we're commanding more troops here. We're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Roger won an award. Now he can command 50 soldiers. And there are no awards left to give out, so that's all done. Let's go into the audience and uh, review our captives. See if we can persuade anyone to join us. Let's see if Gunter had a change of heart. Yeah, okay, he'll join us. How about Norse? Will you join us? Sure, I'll join you. How about Silva? Will you join us? Nope, she's not interested. How about Sylvia? Want to join us? Nope, not interested either. And our last person. Voight is... Odds are good we can recruit him. Yep, he'll join us. Okay, that's all the persuading we can do for now, as far as getting people to join the group. So let me save the game for the moment. All right. And let's see, what do I want to do next here? Uh, hmm. Do I want to search or fortify? What are my options? Well, only Nina can do either one. I'm going to have her search for an item. I don't really need to build the castle ups right now. Let's see. Oh, cool! Strategy runes. Those, that's a consumable item. It will permanently boost your intelligence by six points. So if there's, if one of my generals has almost enough intelligence, if I boost their intelligence high enough, they will be able to search castles and fortify them. So I'm checking everyone's uh, intelligence stat right now. Nina, of course, is able to do that, so I don't need to boost hers anymore. like anyone is near that point right now. What's Wayne's right now? 64? Yeah, I'm probably better off hanging on to that item unless I can boost someone's intelligence enough to uh, have them, have them uh, fortify a castle or search it. It's cool that I found that, though. Alright, I'm going to save the game here. And I think this is going to be the end of the live feed for now. Hopefully this was more than enough to get you going, so you can start playing the game. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I hope this video is very helpful to, to you. Uh, I'm going to bow out now. Thanks for watching again. See you later.